So welcome to today's episode of Techno Dad Life. And so today it's going to be a short and sweet video. We're going to install Open Media Vault Extras, Docker, and Shell in the Box. Those are probably the three programs that I find I use the most. So here we go now. So the first thing we're going to do today is check for updates. We go over here to Update Manager. We're going to click on that. Click check. Next thing we're going to do is go to plugins. And what we need to do is install the Open Media Vault Extras repository. So what we're going to do is go to the openmediavaultextras.org, go to the guide section, and scroll down to we're using OME, OMV4. So we're going to click on that and download that. Once that's done, then we go to our downloads folder and you can see we have Open Media Vault extras there. So then we go back to Open Media Vault, click on the upload, browse to our download folder, and then we click on the Open Media Vault extras, open, click OK, and now that will download those plugins. And we're going to check for updates quick. Then we're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom and click on Open Media Vault Extras and install that. Yes. Close that. And now it will refresh the page. We're going to go over to Open Media Vault Extras. Click on the Docker repository, edit, click enable, save, update. Go back to our plugins, click on shell in a box. And so for this to work, you actually need SSH enabled. So actually, we're going to do that first. So we're going to go to SSH. Enable, and it needs to be on port 22 for a shell in the box to work. So if you're having problems with a shell in the box, just remember that. Click Save, Apply, Yes. Uh, we go back to the plugins, click on that shell in the box, scroll all the way down to the bottom, and click on Docker, and then Install, Yes. Close, and now it's going to refresh again. And now if we go over to the side here under services, we see we have Doctor, Docker and Shell in the Box. So I just want to show you Shell in the Box first. So here we have to enable and then save. Click Apply, yes. And we'll just show you how that goes. So we're going to click on Web Client. And so when this comes up, just ignore it because it's not a HTTPS uh, connection. Proce proceed. And now if we log in, root and our password, uh, we get a shell. And now I'll just show you what happens if you uh, don't have SSH enabled. So we're going to unenable that, save. Apply, yes. And we go back to shell in the box. And we click on the web clients. We log in. And you can see here it says session close and connect, but nothing happens as long as you do not have that SSH enabled. So let's leave that. Go back to SSH. Enable that. And remember, it has to be on port 22. Save, apply, yes. So that's how we get SSH to be enabled, or uh, excuse me, shell in the box. Go back to Docker. And so for Docker to work, we have to enable that. Click Save, apply, yes. And then uh, I'll, I have other tutorials on how to install specific Docker images. Today's tutorial, short and sweet. Uh, if you like this, make sure you subscribe, and we'll see you next time.
Thank you.